My name is Jompet Kuswidananto. Uh, this is my project titled After Voices. After Voices is inspired by the after sonic boom of democracy in Indonesia. And uh, in this work, I try to capture the historical democracy that has been uh, rehearsed and performed in, in Indonesia. So I collected some narrative artifacts, a bit of clues about how this democracy has been performed or rehearsed or end up with a historical moment that makes people losing consciousness and things like that. One important thing uh, for Indonesian democracy is that uh, after more than 15 years since Indonesia got democracy, I think there is uh, uh, Indonesian people are are getting well trained to perform their political uh, expressions, and it creates this competition in terms of amplifying uh, the voices. End up with a sonic blast or noises. Yeah, I mean Indonesian democracy at the moment is is stages of voices and people are more and more motivated to speak louder and louder and actually nobody uh, listen so it's just uh, noises just meaningless noises and then yeah but i try to go beyond of this issue i like to see beyond voices what is exactly indonesians talking about among these noises yeah i'm inspired by a, a crowd or a, mass mobilization that has been very typical for Indonesian democracy that like I, like I mentioned before that ev uh, expressing a voice is always means uh, amplified the louder as you can through speakers through uh, music instruments through the numbers of the uh, peoples or also through uh, mobilization of mass so, and yeah, I like to, to capture what happened in inside of this event inside of these noises so I like to break down these noises into uh, like the flags there uh, printed with the text of the anthems of civic organization that has been boomed after 1998 uh, because uh, before 1998 Indonesian was not uh, easy to, to gather, to, to make a groups of people. So after then, it's boom, Everyone's, everyone is motivated to create a groups and create uh, their identity, show their identity. So, and one typical way of make a unique identification is making an anthem. And through the anthems, you will see the, the dreams or the ideal concept of life of each uh, particular group. Also, uh, you can see the the enemy of this group. So, actually, the anthem can a bit give you a picture of how new social boundaries is created. Yeah, I like to capture the drama uh, of motorcycle in uh, amplifying these voices. Motorcycle in Indonesia, not only vehicle, but it is also a, a symbol of independency because the, let's say, the public transport is not working. So you have to have your own vehicle and, and motorcycle is independency. But during this amplification of political oppressions, motorcycle become, uh, is transformed into a, like a power unit, a group of people with motorcycle, with the headlights on, with the mufflers off, it shows power of, of a voice. Basically, I, I like to capture this, this moment of historical democracy in Indonesia and I, I present the collection of narratives. It is not a solid idea that you can... It, it has an open possibility to, to understand this or to interpret this. Well, the, the, problem, the problem of Indonesian democracy is that it raised lots of victims. I can just say uh, roughly that if you are not speaking louder than the other, then you will not be heard and you will lose a chance. And then yes, th this situation motivates you to speak louder than the other. And then this kind of competition is somehow is uh, absurd.